So I know I just told you all about that. I just wanted you guys to see it in the actual quick start guide that you can froth milk, but if you want it cold, that's fine. We can just froth it right away. If you want hot, you have to microwave it first for a little bit. So but that's kind of how you do that in your Ninja Dual Brew Pro. And I will get some of it going here in just a second. So I am going to be making a cappuccino style coffee now. I am, obviously there's your ingredients. And so per directions, we are going to get your coffee ready to go first. I do have my little half cup of milk right there that I'm gonna be putting in my coffee mug here in just a second. I do not, I know it says 12 ounce cup. My cup is a 10 ounce cup, so we're gonna see if I can try to not make a huge mess <laughs> while I'm doing this here. So, for the sake of what we're doing here, we're gonna go ahead and put our coffee filter in. And get our couple scoops of coffee here before we go ahead and heat up our milk in the microwave. So, go ahead and set that there. And it says two big scoops. So, obviously, big scoops would be this guy. And we're going to do two of them. Which that seems like a heck of a lot of coffee. So, I'm going to just do one. And two. Go ahead and put that back over there where it goes. I'm going to go ahead and slide that closed so we'll be ready to go here. But for the sake of the recipe, step number two says to pour your milk in your mug. Even though I just made a mess. And I'm going to go heat this in my microwave for about a minute. All right, so we are ready to move on to the froth part of the recipe. And so, I'm gonna see if I can get this locked into place. All right, and we are locked into place here. And it's going to be probably hard to see me frothing this, but there is my milk. So, and it says to froth for 30 seconds. Anyhow, this is gonna be, I want you guys to be able to see this, so let me see if I can maneuver my coffee and my video camera a little bit better for you. So I went ahead and I got everything ready to froth here. So I am just going to push the little power button on here, but I wanted you guys to see. So I'm gonna put you guys back up here and make sure that you kind of can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully, this will work out just perfect. Let's get back just a little bit. All right, and we're just gonna froth the milk for about 30 seconds, so here we go. So when you are frothing, you actually just push the button down and hold it. You don't have to just turn it, push it on once. It actually just does its thing as you're holding down the button. So I'm going to go ahead and twist this off since I'm done with it and move it over to my sink really quick. And now we're going to do the brew part. So I'm going to fold that back into place and move my situate my ninja here a little bit better. I'm going to see if this will actually fit under here. It does. So my 10 ounce mug actually does fit just fine underneath on the little tray without having to set it on the actual heating plate. And we are Brucelle. We are specialty. So we're going to move it over to specialty. And I am going to see if I can adjust 
because it says four ounce. And so that looks like that's going to be it, it's just four ounces, which is fine. I'm gonna make sure my little latch is in the open position, which it is, and I'm gonna hit start. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all done, because obviously you can't hardly see what's going on there. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so it is all done here. I'm going to go ahead and close the latch just so we don't drip any coffee. Oh, wow. All right. And that is how you make the cappuccino style coffee in your Ninja Dual Brew Coffee Pro.